Hi, my name is Rewa Zinati and I'm a Lebanese poet and editor of Sukun magazine. I am currently based in Metro Detroit and I'm going to be sharing my poem, Villages Have Names Too, uh, which is currently published in the anthology Making Mirrors. Um, I'm reading for the Bridgewater International Poetry Festival Fall 2020 virtual event. Villages have names too. Guns, McDonald's, steak knives, journalists, truck wheels, bullets, suicide, army boots, home. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Ak. Disappear into a thousand million pieces. How one thing becomes another. Will you find it in your God to forgive me? My mother's mother was a storyteller who was constantly interrupted. We weren't supposed to know about the land, the longing. How many faceless virgins await the hero who, 72, 27, 11, 85, as if it, the world's bestseller? What kind of love story, hardcover binding, you're saying it all wrong. Am I? Memories lived on her tongue like language, her accent a secret weighed down by the stones of leaving, and when I pretended that I wasn't listening, raise your voice and raise your gun, find a land and occupy it forever, and tell the journalist how much it hurts to be here, have children and tell them they've belonged here all along, tell them it's only fair. Where did all the birds go? My mother's father was a quiet man I never met. And when the bombs came, I was told he wouldn't leave the village church until his prayers were complete. And when I pretended that I wasn't listening, I occupied myself by gazing at her peacock blue slippers, frail and thin like her aging ankles that carried her from border to border. And I've never seen, and I've never seen, and I've never seen, but I've seen how eyes can refuse Forgetting. Falling requires distance from a high point, requires gravity or the absence of a kind of science or a kind of love, requires fiction. And heroes dressed in robes and hymns and precious stones, penises choked in their fists. Forgive me, did I say that out loud? Are you listening now? Look away. Watch a grown man rummage through street garbage looking for food or clothes or broken, looking for food or clothes or broken glass. Think, how did he get here? Think, did he hide his daughters in his eyes, his heart? Isn't that how we express love in our tongue? Think, this could have been your father. Think, this isn't about you. Think, of course it is. She swam and swam the long-winded cough of the old sea, pushed a vessel full of families and fear into the crooked mouth of shore, joined the Olympics and showed us how water, too, keeps us whole. Stay in between the hours of 12 and 4 p.m. The rest of the time, pray. The rest of the time, cook something. The rest of the time, rest. The rest of the time, mourn the ocean, its fleet of dead birds in migration. Death is good here, a celebration. Hang the faces of men as old as children who killed and got killed. Hang them along the winding roads that lead up to the mountains and down to the rivers. Forget the rose bushes lining the path. Forget the pine trees or every other kind that grows here. Remember only the faces of these men. Hang them like flags over wrought iron balconies, like clean laundry drying in the sun, dying in the sun. I can't tell whose children these are, the ones who sell water bottles and balloons and small plastic drums. A girl runs between the slow cars and traffic. A boy runs to the open windows. On my right, the sea glows. Parents hurl their bodies into the water, fully clothed, fully clothed. Shall I name them? Will it make sense then? 
Palestine, Iraq, Syria, Yemen, Libya, shall I name the cities? Will you finally listen? Beirut, Gaza, Aleppo, Haifa, Sakhnin. Villages have names, too. And when she died, it was Easter, and I was nowhere to be found. Everyone is somewhere else. The city is a pension home for the elderly. No one lives here anymore. We wait to go back to forget dying. The blackouts of a thousand-year-old city. Aircraft as proud as birds. Air, the fragility of lungs. Believe it. Windows are the eyes of the soul. Tucked behind thick blinds and broken, we must be half terrible, half terrible. How else do we explain all this? He shoots at the blue patches between the branches, says he might find something for lunch, something small and delectable to drop down on him like rain. Or maybe I imagined it, how one thing becomes another. Where did all the birds go?